In this video, we'll take a look at the GoZ workflow between ZBrush and Lightwave, and how easy it can be to export the sculpting detail to our 3D models. Starting from a subdivided box, I created a very simple base mesh and modeler. Now we can send the model to ZBrush clicking on the GoZ button we can find under the Input Output tab. The object is now a Z tool we can draw and edit in ZBrush. We can now add some detail to the mesh, subdividing and using the various tools available in the software. What you can see in the video is a time lapse of less than 10 minutes of sculpting. Of course, any change we make will be affecting the base mesh as well. Something that needs to be said, since I often read about it and it's a common mistake, is that there's no need to store a more for the base mesh, because we need to keep the changes to the base mesh made by our sculpting if we want the final exported result to resemble as close as possible what we have in ZBrush. During the whole process, we can come back in Modeler anytime we want, where we can use any edit tool available. The GoZ button, both present in ZBrush and Modeler, allows going back and forth in total freedom. The R button will open a panel showing the current GoZ enabled application. In this case it's Lightway Modeler, so pressing the GoZ button will take us just there where we will find the updated cage mesh. Now let's go back in ZBrush again. We need to export the sculpted detail in layout, where it will be applied using a displacement map. The first thing we have to do is to set the subdivision level to the minimum. Now we can create a new V map in ZBrush. The GUV tiles always works really well for me. Once the UV has been created, we can create a displacement map. We shouldn't forget to click on Flip V and then on the Create Displacement Map button. Let's click on the R option and select Lightwave Layout from the GoZ enabled application panel. Layout will be automatically opened. Since we created the initial base mesh in Modeler and already saved the object from there, we'll be asked if we want to use the mesh from the disk or replace it. We can replace it without problem since we want the latest changes made in ZBrush to be in Layout. By default, the mesh display sub patch level is set to 3. We can of course increase it so we can see the detail. I'll set the camera type to orthographic, to better resemble the perspective setting I've used in ZBrush. We can compare the results. If we want the best correspondence between the sculpted mesh in ZBrush and what we get in any 3D application, we should consider to retopology the mesh, to better resemble the final ZBrush sculpting shape. Even without performing any retopology, in this case the result in Lightway looks really close to the ZBrush model anyway. What's cool is that the displacement for the mesh has been already set up for us. The displacement map has been applied from the nodal surface editor and plugged into the displacement input node. When using this kind of setup, the displacement intensity is controlled by the enable bump distance value, based on the ZBrush setting as well. What if we want to export a color texture? Let's go back in ZBrush and use the polypaint to color the model. We already have created the UV for the model, so all we have to do is to create a texture from polypaint and use the GoZ button again. Now the color texture has been updated on the LWO model in layout. Of course we can repeat this process as many times as we need. We can of course export a normal map as well. Back in ZBrush, we can simply click on the Create Normal Map button. Let's press GoZ again to update the model in Lightwave. If we activate VPR, we can see the normal map applied to the model through the normal map node. Of course, with a normal map applied, we can really set the subdivision level to a very low value and still get a good detail for the mesh. The GoZ implementation in Lightwave layout and modeler is robust and fully featured. It allows you to change model data along with all the associated texture maps. The modeler implementation even lets you use ZBrush for sculpting endomorphs for things like facial morphs. 
Guzzi now allows Lightway to be even more integrated within Studio Pipelines, making it a great addition to the Lightway toolset.